I'm screen recording as I show um, Dana Rubin how to create a video conference with his class. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go right to calendar.google.com. Hit enter. So if you hear Dana talk, that's why. Then I'm, I'm not saying anything. So then I'm going to <laughs> anymore. Click on the 15th because that's when I'm going to do a, a, a video conference. So you do whatever day and time for your class. And above it, I'm going to hit the, the create button. I hit create. Now a couple things to make it easier. You can um, do a few things. So I'm going to I could edit the whole entire event right here in this window and just hit save or a little bit better. I'm going to click on more options just so it eats up my whole screen. And I'm going to say um, option to technology um, help session or whatever meeting. And I'm going to pick my time to be at 1 p.m. So I'll, my one option will be from 1 to 2. Okay. Um, add location. I'm not going to do under it. Add conferencing. Hangouts meet. It's going to give a notification 10 minutes before. I could add more. There are two meeting options. Option. You can do one or both. Okay. If I go and change it to that class where my name was with the dot, with the blue dot, when I right. go to change it, I can no longer add conferencing to it. So I have to leave it my name because somebody, I guess, has to be in charge of the conferencing. So I leave it as my name. I do Hangouts Meet. It'll stay. Add guests. And I'm going to type the name of the class. And I'll pick the one that's going to come up. You'll see underneath it, 22 people or however many students you have. Now the Hangouts doesn't go away, it stays, but my name has to stay there as being, I guess, the person in charge. So that's gonna invite everybody. The Hangouts Meet link will stay there. I'm even gonna copy it now so that it's, I can share it on, um, what's it call it? And I'm gonna hit on Google Classroom and I'll even put see Google Classroom for or your email for details, I guess. And well, then, see Google Classroom, your email, or your calendar because it's going to post to the calendar true. also. True. Um, and then that one girl that we just experimented with, your email or calendar, um, she was doing it on her phone. So, like, the dial option probably has to be, you know, available as a link somewhere too. Um, and now yeah, if I dial. hit. The dial option is going to come up once you actually send out the event. So right, but if I put, if I don't in. share it on Google Classroom, it won't save there. Invite external, sure, whatever. Okay, so now oh. that one's here. You should get an email for that. This one. Wait a sec. This is the one from Yay. 1 to 2. All right, I just got the email for that. Right. Now, when I click on the email, yeah, that's perfect because it has it has the URL. It's got the join by phone. It's got everybody who's invited. But now what's going to happen, and it says what the two meeting options are, and you can either see Google Classroom, your email accounts. The only issue is now you're going to get barraged with emails of people that are going to either say accept or decline. Yeah, but whatever. It is what it is. You just delete them all or whatever and figure it out. So so it seems like the advantage of posting this on the calendar is I don't have to enter in 22 email addresses for each of the students in my class. Yeah, and then I, I in this video that I'm recording, I just went in after I made the event, I copied it too. So you can copy it to the classroom as long as it's on your calendar and you're the leader still. Right. You could copy it to that other class and it should be oh. fine. So... That's possibly the swiftest option. I mean, my worst case scenario is I'm typing in 30 email addresses so that 
you know, if I set up a calendar notification, I'm going to get 30, potentially 30 responses, which um, I'm going to have enough emails regarding. Homework. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're going to have them there. But if you go in your email and just search like um, RSVP or something, every email that has an RSVP will pop up and you could just delete them all at once. True. True. Okay. okay. So I'm right. going to write tech cool. help video meet um, with them. Um, I'll say finalized because like I did it a hundred times. Um, PS at the end. Sorry, this was such a mess and you maybe got a dozen emails, but I was learning how to do this um, myself. Forgive me. Okay, so I have that all there, and I'm just going to stop screen recording, and then I'll attach even this silly video of me doing this, so if anyone wants to watch it uh, to see how I did it, they can do that, so...